Hello guys and welcome back to um, the Sims 4 Creator Sim Demo. Um, this is part two. In part one we created this lovely chap here, Steve Bennett. And now we will create his sister. So, uh, right, okay, like, so if you want to create a new sim, you click on this tab here, and it says add new sim or play with genetics. Now, if you want to play with genetics, wow. you basically, you can create a sibling, and it just gives some of the same characteristics and look that he would have. But, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go straight into add new sim. So, therefore, you never know, this may not be his sister. I'm just saying it's going to be his sister. I honestly don't know. It could be his girlfriend. Let's just see how it goes. I know I said sister in the other one, but now I'm kind of thinking, I don't know. Okay, well, first things first, change it to female. Did that even change? Yeah, okay, it does change. Hello there. Um. Right, okay, so last name. I'm going to keep it as Bennett, in, just in case, like, we don't. Like, just in case... Is a sister. I don't know. And we're gonna call her Susan, Gloria, Amanda, Judy. Blah, 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 blah. I can't pronounce your names. So posh. Jessica. No, we are only call her Jessica. Jessica Bennett. We have Jessica Bennett with us right now, everybody. Can you see her? Here she is. So. Uh huh. You know, you basically get the gist. Oh my god, that's new. So, when you create two Sims, it must be edit relationship, so you can be his roommate, brother, or also you can't be dating. So it's either gonna be brother or roommate. We'll soon see. Roommate could be interesting to play with. So for the female, we do have different voice tones. We have sweet. Yep, We have melodic. Or we have litted. I guess it's kind of like flirty. So let's have her do this. I like that sound of voice. So we're going to go with that. Let's hear it one more time. I love that sound of voice. It sounds like very like I am Jessica. Um oh yeah, by the way, I learned something new. So if you have a mouse, like a movable mouse on a pad, if you use the little like roller key in the middle, you can actually zoom into them without getting all of this jazz up. You can just roll in and out. See so, so you can see her face, you can see her top part. Or you can see that zoomed in or just default zoomed out. I just, I thought that was interesting because I learned that. Okay, let's get on with this so the video's not as long as the other one, hopefully. So let's click on the face. So now we're going to do the same. She's going to look awful for a minute. I'm so sorry, Jessica. But let's go for face. So let's get her skin tone first. Now, we want her to be a little tad darker. Well, not darker skin, but yeah, get a darker coloured skin than... I feel like they're yeah I like that shade um now these are all of the female defaults I'm I will select a few so look we have just like I guess I don't quite know but they're basically ones that come from around the world with different, all different skin tones too. So it like basically, if you can't be bothered to tweak all of the things, oh whoopsie, this thing, this kind of does it for you, which I think's really neat. Really, like, it is, it's a really neat tool. But there we go. So we're gonna start out with this lady here I think I gave I started out with this skin tone which is what we're gonna stick oh this skin tone I feel like this one purely because I'm gonna keep her eyes blue so yeah 
Right. So now we've got the skin colour. Skin detail on the girls is basically the same as the boys. Forehead wrinkles, side wrinkles, freckles all over the face. Freckles just on this part of the face that's highlighted now. Beauty spot on the mouth, beauty spot on the side. So basically, <clears throat> exactly the same as the boys. Pretty much. So, let's get straight into this. So, head shape. You know about all the shape tools as of right now. Head shape. Let's look for it. Ooh. I like that head shape. Then let's make it a little bit more of our own. There. Like that a lot. So ears. Now these are the default ears that you get. I should have showed you this in the men section, but like small ear, large ear. What about your average ear? But that isn't very rotated, so let's rotate let's, oh whoops. Let's rotate them out a little bit. There we go. Using the default ear with a little bit of tweaking for once. No one missed did it. So, eyebrows. <laughs> the most important. Um, we're going to have her be a blonde sim. Excuse me. Let's just click, because that, 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 they'll change to blonde, but I want it to be this kind of blonde. So, I'll go through all of the girls' different brow shapes. You can see them just changing, and as we go through, I'm going to select one. I actually, I genuinely think, taking into all consideration that this is a demo, again about what I said when we were creating Steve, um, I do think that they actually give us quite a lot of choice in the demo. Like, they're letting us get out there, basically, and do what we want to do. I think that's great. So there are all the brow shapes, and now a brow that I saw, that I really liked, was this one here. I feel like it gives her shape. And like, so you can adjust how high you want them or how low you want them, but I feel like we're going to go for them here. Then enter detail mode, and we'll just get a little bit more with the brows. There we go, I, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I like that. And um, now, onto the eyeballs. I will show you some of the defaults for the women. Just, actually, I'll show you all of them because you know this game does it so fast now. Like, look. Like, oh, I love that. See, a lot of people were saying that the eyelashes, they didn't like, because they looked like they were just, like, blocks of black above their eye. But I like that. Like, you, if you didn't want to, you don't have to put mascara on your sims. Like, it just looks like it's already on there. See, I personally like it. I just wish there was a few eyelash types for the men. I know there is, like, a faint eyelash for the men, but I mean, I wish a little bit longer ones. But not as long as this, obviously. Sorry, I'm still full of cold. I am so sorry. So like this. So there's so many, so I'm going to stop at this one here. But you get the gist of things. There's a lot to choose from. And our one I really liked was this one here. So we're going to stick with that. And then pop into detailed mode. And this is when we're just going to... Actually, no. Just going to have a little tweakity tweak. Guys, you don't even, I don't even think you know like how much it is like so easy to tweak these. Like that big blue eyes. Yeah, okay, we're going to go for that. Oh, God, sorry, guys, I've got an itchy eye myself. 
So I'm really happy with the eyes. So now the nose choices. I will show you the, the noses are near enough the same as the men's. So I'll just click way down to that one there. So as you see, it's basically exactly the same as the men's. I like this default nose here, especially for the women's sims. I just feel like... That's, that's nose rotation. Okay. And if we go into detail mode, we can just adjust... There we go. I'm happy with that nose, guys. Really happy. She looks amazing already. Um, now, the lips are the next main part. Now, the women lips are literally the same as the male lips. I'm not going to click on them to show you on the sim. I will just scroll down because I want some of it to be like a surprise like I know I keep saying surprise I'm showing you for goodness sakes but I mean like about what the lips look like on the sim so a one that I'm going to just stick with and tweak will be this one here then detail oh whoops no not detail mode yet this is about the lip position I feel like that's a good place let me go into detail mode, just like so, have a nice smiley, bouncy bubbly sim, there we go, okay that's a bit too much of a smiley bubbly sim, there we go, like that a lot, so now we now have the chins to choose from and as you can see, it's just basically different chin interpretations of the chin. So now we're not going to have it sticking out like that, but we are going to have a bit of a chin on her. Ooh, that's interesting. I don't know, you can move the lips out. I want to try and make it so she doesn't look like she's pouting as much. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, the cheek. So, there's just so many. I like that cheek. I like the look. I like it a lot. I'm happy with her. I'm honestly happy. <coughs> so now, this is the exciting part. The hair. Now, it's the exciting part because I generally do like the hairs in The Sims 4. So, as you know, we have bold for the women also. We have this one. And I really like the way the hair shines and stuff. I like that a lot and I just yeah I just like it a lot we have this look in a bun like that this look this one I like this hair a lot actually curls at the back this one obviously your classic Bella Goff hair There we are. This hair. See, I, I'm actually... I don't think there's actually one woman's hair that I actually don't like. If there is, you'll soon find out. <laughs> this hair, uh, I, I like this hair a lot. It's very, like... 
I don't know, it's very something. I'm trying to think of a celebrity that it looked like, but if you know, tell me in the comments. I had one in my in my brain. It will come out in like a random part of the video soon, just wait. So wow. Even that hair, like I am not too keen on short hair on women, but I like that. This see there was just so many hairs to choose from. That's like the bold but not bold look, so like shaven, I guess. Got this one, I like that short hair as well. This one here, like in a in like a ponytail, I was gonna say a bun. And then like a nice little fringe part in there. Now this hair, I actually love this hair a lot. The one with all the, like, it's layered. I like it a lot. We've got this one here, which I like a lot too. We've got this one, which is a very long hair, tied up in a ponytail like that. We have a Mohican, no, not a Mohican, we have an Afro, sorry. This one, I feel like this one is very similar to this one, only this one that is on her is straighter. But I like it. I do, I do, I do. I like this hair as well. And again, this short hair I also like. Like, tell me your thoughts. Just tell me in the comments what you think. Oh, and this hair, the famous hair, like, of all, like, the teaser, like, screenshots and stuff before we knew anything about The Sims 4. She was always there in a nice red dress. This one as well. Um, this, like, short afro one, I guess that's what you can call it. This one, like, I like this one, like, I don't, it has a name. Like, the hairstyle has a name, but I can't think. This one, <clears throat> I like this one a lot, actually. See, there's a, I don't think there's actually one that I hate. I also like this. I mean, I bet you guys are probably thinking, oh my god, why do you like that one? But I... I genuinely do literally like all these hairs. That one, very formal. I think we'll have that for a formal. Just like deciding already. Just the very long hair with a nice straight fringe. This hair. I'm just going to stop explaining them now and just go through all the other hairs because I feel like I've been talking about hair for way too long. I like that. And she likes that too. I like that one. You must nearly be done now, right? Oh god. I love a big afro. But that looks like gum. Just stuck on top of red. Wow. The Miley Cyrus. Wow. Oh, and these highlights, these also change when you change the colour of the hair. See, as you can see, just the different changes that happen. Um, this hair, wow, this reminds me of Into the Future, like, just about this part here, being all, like, like, I don't know what the word is. Wow. And then this one, again, the highlights change per colour of hair. So yeah. Um, now we've gone, oh and again sorry the categories are still here like you can choose from short, medium or long and then again the filter with the textures and the length. The same for the boys. Um, the hair we're gonna go with today Will be. I think this one here. I think that suits the shape of her face. Oh, maybe this one. No, this one. This one suits the shape of her face. So there, that is all the women hair. Now we will set it while we're here for each. Like dress wear, I guess. For formal, we'll have it 
Ooh. How about <laughs> very difficult? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. The formal will have it up like that. So does that does that make sense? Like a hair's down in the day, and then it's like been put up on a night. Yeah! I think that's well nice. Cool. Athletic. We can keep it the same. Actually, no, we might want to have it in a ponytail. Athletic will have it up in a messy bun. Sleep. We'll have it the same. And then party. I think we'll have it the same for party as well, just them two is different, I think. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So that's the hair done. Now the hat. Now this is the part that, that everyone was getting psyched about because if you put a hat on, it says the hairstyle doesn't change. Just show you the different hats. And then again, there is a colour palette at the bottom of each one to change the colours of each hat and baseball caps again colour palette I like this hat actually again colour palette different kind of textures and then this one pretty much this is exactly the same as the boys hat but 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 we will not be putting a hat on her actually should we put a hat on her no, we're not putting a hat on her. Sorry. I'm so sorry if you wanted a hat on her because she's not having a hat. Okay, so. Accessories. <coughs> Every day. I think we'll do this as we create her. In terms of glasses, should she, should she wear glasses? I feel like she looks really intelligent with glasses on. Yeah, we're going to go, she's going to wear glasses. Athletic, obviously, no, don't wear glasses. Sleep, don't wear glasses. Party. Again, she is a glasses girl. They actually look really nice to know. I like it a lot. And then we go for makeup. So for everyday makeup. I need to really remove your accessory for this, love. Um, eyes. I like that. Is there a subtler? I think we're going to go for that. I'm sorry if I'm making her look horrible. I bet some of you are sitting there thinking, what is he doing? I feel like she doesn't need any eyeliner. Cheeks. We'll have it. We'll just start out with the cheeks. And for the lips. Like that. Is that bad? I don't think I've done too bad. But yeah, nat see, kind of natural. So, yeah. This is for her every day. This is what she'll wear for every day. Just like the casual her. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do the makeup for the different outfits too. So, for example, for formal, excuse me, for formal, here she is. She won't have any eyeshadow on, but she'll have 
this on. I don't actually think that I'm doing a terrible job. I hope I'm not. Yeah, she looks beautiful. However, with them different heads, I don't know if I want to wear glasses anymore. I'm not, I, I'm not being offensive at all because I wear glasses, glasses myself. I just don't feel like... No, she's not gonna. No, she's not gonna wear glasses. And then party. We'll go for. <coughs> Sorry. For party, we'll go for. We'll go for that for party. I think she looks. I think she doesn't look too bad in all of the makeup. I don't think I've done bad on the makeup, guys. Let me know. So, that is now her face done. This That is Jessica's face, okay? So now, we're gonna go for body. So, again, I'll do exactly what we did for Steve. And first off, start with body type. So, I'll show you all the different types for women. It's basically the same as it is for male. It's just that it made it look different for female. And I think we're going to start off with this body shape. And then we'll make her not very athletic. There we go. How's that look? Just a bit toned. I like that. I think she looks lovely like that. And then again, we'll do what we did for the guy. Feet size. We'll make her feet relatively small. And then again, calf size. Yep. Thigh size. Hip size. Like so, bottom size, like so. Again, I'm not really, I'm just going for it to be honest. And then this is when we get into the arms, arm size, broadness of the shoulders. And then, neck. I feel like we should have done the neck first, probably, but... There we go, that neck doesn't look too bad, right? I think it looks fine. <laughs> And then again, you can make her ridiculously skinny. Or like that. I think that's... I think that's a little bit more realistic. Than that. So... And then you can adjust her stomach. Just like that. And then again... Like, it is so pat, like, I'm sorry if I'm not talking very much in this one, it's just that there's so much, I I'm learning a little bit more than I knew already. If that makes any kind of sense at all. Okay, there we go, I'm just, I'm just still kind of amazed. And then the last thing, obviously, is you can adjust her endermints, just literally by clicking and dragging. Like so. Oh, whoopsie. There we 
there we go. So, every day. So, again, the women do have stylized looks. So they do tend to have more than the men. And basically, they're just some funny names. I like, I love the names. And the Sims in the pictures look like, oh, I'm like a model. So, it's just great. Um, before we go into the tops and stuff, because I know you want to see everything for the women, I'm just going to show you a few of the outfits. Because there is obviously a lot, I have a lot more to show off for the women than there is for the men. I'm actually impressed with the amount of, this is more for formal though. See again, you can see more for formal. And then again, oh actually, I like that. She's wearing that. <laughs> I don't care she's wearing that. But I will not put the shirt on the sim. I will show you. So we've got this in these different colours. The jacket look. Again, different colours. The same with this one. I will show you a few. And I want to actually show you this one. I like that one actually. So, going on to t-shirts, we've got these that have, I'll show you the different design patterns on there. We have a girl gamer, skull, 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 feather, skull. I, I, I think the shirts fit the sims nicely. Just, just doing that undoing life. Um, then we go into sweaters. We kind of have the over-the-shoulder sweater, the button-up sweater, and then the other two are kind of the same, just like a little bit more classy. These are like this kind of like camo, and this is just like plain colours. I actually like a lot of the women clothing quite a lot, if I'm being honest. And then we go on to tank tops. The, the women have so many more than the men do. I'll just show you two or three. So we have this one here, that the bra and and the tan top. Or we have this one here, which has no strap, just goes around. Just as so. But we also have these in many different colours. Same goes for this one. And all of them, like I I don't see the problem with the colour palettes that we get. Okay, we are a bit limited, I'll take that, but I just don't see what the issue is. If I'm being honest, just do not see why everyone's so, like, bummed out about it. I know it's a little bit limiting, but, yeah. I'll show you these, like, there's, like, a sports bra, and then, I, I don't, this is just, like, basic underwear bra, I guess. And then vests, we only have this one here, which is if you're like working in a bar or whatever, going out clubbing, something like that, really. And now bottoms, I will show you as one pair of pants, which are these, which come in multiple different colours, as you can see me just scrolling through them there. Um, oh my god, the skirts as well. I'll take you for each of the skirts and just show you the colour palettes. There's this one with a smaller colour palette, but they are patterned as you can see. This one with a very large colour palette and some leopard print going on up there. This one with the widest of all colour palettes with again some tartan going on. And then this one which is kind of longer with some stripes going on and then plain colours. So I personally like I mean I must admit I, I like I prefer the skirts in the Sims 4 than I do the Sims 3. Yeah. Shorts, I will show you a few of them on. These are obviously the short shorts. Again, these ones here also these ones here tend to be the same length. And I will also show you this one. They are shorts. It looks like a skirt but they're shorts. 
I actually like this one quite a lot. Maybe for your teenage sims or whatever. And then you obviously have the nearly three quarter length shorts with the colour palette. So, yeah. I know there's more. Don't worry. Um, jeans. There's two jeans, so I'll show you both of them. These jeans, which are skinny jeans, which come in all of these different colours. And then I, I think these are like the boot cut or like the hang loose type jeans. So like they're not tight fitted or whatever, which come in them colours. Not as many as the other tight jeans, but I think we'll live for the now. And then underwear, which is just that. So yeah. So now I'm I'm actually ha I'm really happy with what she's wearing at the moment. Actually, I think she, it suits her a lot. So then going on to accessories. So, bracelets. I'm not going to show you all the bracelets because it will take a lifetime. So, so m Actually, I will show you all the bracelets. So, as you can see, that one there. Just, and there is a, quite a wide colour palette for each bracelet as well. As you can see. But, we will not be given, actually, we will be given her a bracelet with this. Be given her that bracelet there. Actually, no, we won't. We'll be given her. Yeah, we will. We'll be given her that bracelet there. Gloves. Obviously, there's only one glove, which are them gloves there. The ones that go up to your elbows. Oh, I'm sorry, the colour palette for that. Quite a lot of different colours. Rings. There's not many rings to choose from. There's the colour palette for that ring. The diamond ring. Again, the colour palette. Again, another diamond ring that goes next to that bigger one with this colour palette. And then we have this ring on the other hand with this colour palette. So, I, I generally think they give us quite a... De I would like some more accessories, but there's a decent amount. And the socks, literally the same as the men. Apart from these ones, they're a bit more like tights type things so yeah another cool thing we now have leggings which I am gonna give her some with this outfit I think I'll just show you some of the ones like so I think we'll give her these ones and then I'll show you the color palette just for this one here uh, I think we're gonna go With that one there. So it matches her bangle a little bit. So there we are. And then shoes. So we've got sandals, two basic sandals. This one's a little different, it goes up to the ankle area. Flats, one pair of flats. Loafers, one pair of loafers for the women. Obviously, they come in a, an array of different colours. Slippers. Basically the same for the men. Heels. There's, like, so many different heels. I actually like them ones. I think we're going to give her green shoes to go over bangle. And again, all of these different heels. And this music too, I like this music a lot as well. So wedges, they give us two wedge shoes. Which come in this array of colours. I'll show you what this one looks like on a... They look quite nice. We've got straps. And like, yeah, I don't mind that one. Sneakers, four different, four different, five different pairs of sneakers. I'll show you this one here briefly. The one with the lace going around the outside with the colour palette. Quite simple colour palette for them ones. And then the actual sneaker sneakers, which come in this colours there. And then obviously, last but not least, boots. I'll show you one pair of boots. These ones here, 
And then the simple colour palette, literally to change to your heart content. Actually, we're going to go with some boots. Then boots. There, she looks very classy, doesn't she? So, yeah, I think we're actually going to go back up to the face area. And give her some earrings with this everyday outfit. We'll give her some pearl earrings. They're a greeny, a, a mint greeny colour. Actually, like more of like, yeah, there we go. They look really nice. And then, why not give her a good old necklace too? There. Lovely. So, that is every day for Jessica complete. Ta-da! Okay, now let's go on to formal. So, I've basically given you the run through of all the different types of clothing. But for formal, we're going to do... Actually, we'll have a look at the stylized looks. There is the Loveline panel dress. Or the fairy tale fitted gown. I'll show you the gown. Just like that, and it comes in different colours. Like so. But now let's move on to the full body, which we have here. I'm going to personally go for this for her. I think. And then... We will get rid of her leggings. Actually, is she even... Okay. Here we are. There we go. Got rid of them. There we go. She looks quite nice now. We're going to give her this bangle just there. With the, that. Oh, wow. She does look very nice. And I like her necklace with that as well. And earrings. Then her shoes, we will do heels. In a red. There we are. There she is for formal. Wow. See, there's just like so many different choices. Let's go for stylized looks for sporty. Let's try this style. Okay. That is the sporty shorty, and they come in three different colours, like so. There is Bonic Bodywear or Bodwear. I, I really like the little, like, uh-huh, that they do. Like, it's very, like, look at me. Or the Vava Vroom track set. Like so. Um, we're going to go with none of those, actually. <coughs> we're going to do our own. We're going to put her in this tank top that's going to be... Uh, brown tank tops, like so. With... A bit too short. With them on. Yeah. We're gonna go for that. And then pop some socks on her. And then the sneakers in. This kind of colour. Oh, bugger, I took off the tops by accident. There we go, that is her for athletic. She looks very like. Oh, I made her boobies a little bit too big. 
I didn't realise that. <laughs> um, now on to sleepwear. Just keep it. Oh, whoops. Just keep it simple with the sleepwear. That's what I do. I might do a stylized look actually. It's called Sweet Dream Sleepwear. That's nice. Tom Baby Shorty PJ set. Or some bunny special loungewear. <laughs> I think we're going to do it just like my own way again. We're going to have her in a tank top with that writing on it this time. In. This pair of shorts. And no um bunny slippers on though. So there we go. Ready for bed. There she is. And then this is the tab I have most fun with. Party. I because I, I, I like I'm just so excited. I don't think we've ever had a party like tab before. Um that's nice. That's what she wears for every day. Actually, let's have a look at stylized looks. This is on the hunt. What does it look like in black? I like that in black. Or in purple. I like it in black. I know, I realize it changes the makeup slightly. Okay. Fetching fun. That's her formal. Leather and roses. Don't like the look of that. And Beauty in the Belt. Don't, don't like that either. I actually really like this. I think we're going to rock with that. And just pop some accessories on her. I even like the shoes they put her in. Great. Um, oh. Yes. Yeah. Rings. We don't want any rings. But we do want... A necklace. That's nice. There. Yep. So, I present to you Jessica Maybe Bennett. This is her wearing her party outfit. This is her wearing her sleep outfit. This is her wearing athletic. Love the style of this game. Formal. And everyday. So, there, that's all the creating that we need to do for her. So, I mean, guys, I hope I've showed you as much women content as I can in the time frame that I've got, because I don't want to make it, this video too long, so I really hope I've done enough. But, now, we shall now do her walk style. You, I've shown you all the walk styles in part one, so we'll just choose a one that suits her. Perky, snooty, swagger, feminine, tough, goofy, sluggish, bouncy. I think we're going to give her the feminine walk. Yep. Okay. Now time to do her aspiration. So we're going to... Popularity, knowledge, love, nature, fortune. I feel like she's going to be a love. Now, hopeful romantic. This sim wants to play the field and go on dates with all sorts of interesting people. Or soulmate. This sim wants to find and live a rewarding life with the one. I think... That one, which unlocks the hopeful romantic. This thing wants to no, which unlocks the trait. Okay, we'll just have a look at it. It unlocks alluring. Alluring sims are more or alluring. I don't. I can't say it. Are more successful at romance than others. So there you are. Now her free traits. She needs to have a social trait. I think her social trait will be outgoing, going to parties and stuff. Lifestyle. Don't think any of them there. 
hobby. I think we're going to make her... A bookworm. Yes. And... Obviously romantic. Maybe we'll make her a bit more though. Maybe we'll make her outgoing, romantic, and creative. There. So, she is creative, romantic, outgoing, and she wants to be a hopeful romantic and go on lots of dates. So, now the last thing to really do is about their relationship. I think we're going to actually make them roommates and change her, so I'm sorry, he's not, she's not going to be a sister, and I've been saying that, but she's now his roommate, I'm so sorry if I confused any of you, and her name will be Jessica, Jessica Jenkins, Jenkins, Jessica Jenkins, yeah, just Jessica Jenkins, Jessica Jenkins. Jessica Jenkins. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the finished Jessica Jenkins. So now we have a family, well, actually a roommate, Jessica Jenkins and Steve Bennett. So, thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I will now save this family, and actually, I will now really quickly show you this. This is a really, really good new thing. So if you want, you can share the household to the gallery. I'm not going to show you too much of that yet. I'll let you explore that yourselves. You can share it on Facebook, or you can just save it. You can add the description of the family here. So the description will be Steve and Jessica. Oh, it's ICA, sorry. Steve and Jessica have just moved in together. Will their different lifestyles keep them keep their friendship strong? Or will their friendship keep their friendship strong? So, Steve and Jessica have just moved in together. Will their different life... I spot lifestyles completely wrong. Will their different lifestyles keep their friendship strong? So basically, I'm going to have this story as them being friends and they're just roommates. So, yeah, and if you want, you can click this button which randomises portrait. So it randomises what they're doing in this portrait. I think we're going to have that one. And then we have... Steve and Jessica. So, yeah, but the household name is actually going to be Bennett because he owns the house. Okay. So, yeah, click save. Overwrite. You saved the Bennett household. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. That is all I have for The Sims 4 now until it comes out, which for the UK is on the 5th of September. So on the 5th of September, or the 6th, it depends when I upload the video, I'm going to do an unboxing of my Sims 4 bundle. You have to wait and see which one I've ordered. And yeah, so you'll have an unboxing video, and then the week after you'll have my new Sims 4 Let's Play starting. But in between now and the 5th of September, there might be some more videos coming, you never know. So yeah, keep keep watching please um give it a thumbs up comment your thoughts have i told you everything you want to know about creator sim if not i might put together a little mini video covering some bits you want but that is only a maybe so yeah thanks for watching my sims for creator sim and yeah i'll see you soon guys okay thanks bye bye <laughs>